Let's take a look at this crazy problem. <laughs> We're trying to find the area inside the circle R equals 8, and that's uh, the right of the line, R equals 4 secant theta. We definitely have to graph this, so I'm going to try to be a little bit careful on how I graph this right here. So, make it real nice, and we'll do a big circle like this, and uh, I guess we'll call that a day. So, here's the line... 4 secant theta and uh, we're going to intersect it right about here and there so obviously it's intersecting from here and I'll make um, I'll turn the theta's blue so it's intersecting from here and then uh, and then we're going from here to there Shazam well um, how are we going to uh, figure out the area of all of this because technically we just want this from here in this little region you know and uh well i just learned this inter interesting little thing it's called a double integral double integral and this is going to really help us because apparently we can find the area uh inside a boxed region kind of so like we're going to sort of create the um, the, the, the limits of our box by doing theta 1 to theta 2 on the first integral, and then a smaller integral in here, r1 to r2, and then we're just going to go r dr d theta. And, um, um, yeah, so, well, I'm just, and bam, we're just going to go like this, uh, to color code this a little bit, make it easy. Um, <clears throat> This will work on a polar chart. Obviously, it's not going to work on any kind of other thing, but this, it will work on a polar uh, graph, obviously. Here, this is how you do it. I, there's probably going to be other ones for normal graphs, but we're just going to do the polar one right here. The double integral in the polar graph. Crazy. So it turns out that, yeah, if we start plugging this in, we got to figure out where does this intersect here. We're going to try to figure out our limits of theta first. Where do they intersect? It's 8 equals... Or secant theta so that's gonna go into 2 equals secant theta and then of course that's actually equal to 2 over 1 cosine theta cosine of uh, 2 cosine theta is equal to 1 that means that cosine theta is equal to a half and if we plug that into the calculator the uh, uh, inverse cosine of a half um, you know, it's just pi over 3. So theta is equal to pi over 3. And that's going to be uh, negative pi over 3 over here. And then pi over 3 over here. Okay. So uh, that's going to be where we're sort of, like I said, going from here all the way over there. And the question is now, uh, what's our r's? So we're going to go... Uh, negative pi over 3 to pi over 3, and then we have r's in the middle that we're going to try to find. Um, it turns out that we need to follow the x-axis. We've already trapped ourselves in here, so let's figure out how far we're really going to reach from here to there is basically our maximum distance. This is the line uh, for secant theta, so that's what we're going to put right there. And, you know, uh, then we're going to hit 8 over here. So this is actually the maximum of 8. And this is just for secant theta right here. So that's going to be our extremities of R's. R1 is for secant theta. And we're going all the way to 8 over here, just like that. This is R and dr and then d theta. And we're just going to make this blue. Negative pi over 3, pi over 3. Is d theta just to kind of keep things a little bit more organized so you can see there's two integrals going on here um now that's going to give us the whole area from here all the way to there we don't really need all that we just need to go halfway right just half of that we can go from zero to pi over three zero to pi over three we're gonna have a two because we multiply everything in two we're just gonna leave that for the middle part though um four secant theta to eight of r dr and then uh, d theta. Okay. Uh, we are going to try to solve it over here now. So we've got um, 
Again, from 0 to pi over 3, here's the 2, and then we can go r squared over 2. That's just integrating r right there. And then we put a little 4 secant theta here, and our 8 there, and uh, the final d theta. Just, we just did the first one. All right, and there's still the second one to do. Um, these will cancel out. We have to do eight squared is 64 minus um, 16 secant squared theta. I'm just plugging in four secant squared. Uh, no, no, no. Anyway, and then we're gonna go uh, uh, from zero to pi over three d theta. Go ahead and just color code that one last time. So y'all can see. So we found that. And now, really easy at this point, we're just gonna do 64 theta minus 16 tan theta, uh, zero pi over three. And uh, when we solve this, we're gonna end up getting 64 over three pi minus 16 square root of uh, three, I believe. And um, yeah, so that's kind of an interesting problem. And the really cool part about this is that we just learned how to do a double integral. Woo!